Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an IAM user and password. Like say, suppose you are uh, the root account owner of your AWS account and you want to grant access to some developer. Okay. So the developer wants to work in your AWS account and uh, but you like you don't want him to log in with your root account credentials. And also you don't want him to grant like all the access like administrator access. You only want to give him a limited access. So what do you do in that case? You create an IAM user with limited permissions, like whatever is needed for his development activity and you know, give him those credentials. So he can use those credentials and log in as an IAM user into your account and not as a root account user. So that way you will uh, ensure that the safety of your account is you know, ensured. And uh, one more thing is like even for the account owners, it's not recommended to always uh, log in with root account credentials uh, for day to day activities. It's always uh, recommended to use an IAM user uh, credentials to log in to perform day, day to day activities and use on a root account only when it is required. OK, with that said, let's see how to create an IAM user and uh, password. OK. In your AWS management console, search for uh, IAM. Okay, click on IAM and it will take you to IAM console. So here I am in my uh, AWS IAM console. So this is how it looks. So to create a new user, uh, you can go here and uh, click on users. Okay, so this is one of the users that I have in my account. So suppose you want to create another user like for development, uh, you want to uh, give access to some developer. So I'll create a developer here. So I'll tell him like, you know, uh, the username is my developer. Okay. Or whatever. So you can uh, basically give programmatic access and AWS management console access also. So this will be used to uh, interact with AWS services using, uh, you know, CLI or uh, Boto3, uh, AWS SDK. Okay. So all such things for that you need to give him uh, give the developer programmatic access and this is management console access. So I'll grant both of this. OK, so for this user, uh, you can give a password. OK, and basically you can ask the password. Uh, OK, to for the you know user when he signs in for the first time, he can uh, have an option to change his password. OK, so for that you need to grant this, uh, you know, it will be automatically assigned to the user. This IAM user change password. OK. So this means that the user will have permissions to change his password. Okay, so you can either uh, cl click on auto generated password or you can select custom password and you can provide this password to this IAM user. Okay, uh, so I'll give like you know, say any password. Um, so uh, once you make sure that you note down this password and uh, you need to give this username password and I uh, know account number for that I am user to be able to be logged into your AWS account. So this is the first step click on uh, to you know, the next step is you need to grant permissions to this uh, developer. OK, uh, so once you create that and click on permissions, it will be taken to here. So here basically you can assign that user to already an existing group like if you have a group created for uh, developers and you know have all the policies access policies defined there you can assign the uh, developer to this uh, group or you can if you want like you can create a new group of uh, whatever is there and you can just assign the user to this group so for this i am just going to uh, assign the user to my existing uh, group itself so if you are creating a new group you can just uh, have like uh, developers or whatever it is okay so you can name the group and you can provide all the access by selecting these policies and you can create the group and then you can assign the user to this group so for uh, now i am just going to assign the user to my already existing group okay so this is the group that i already have and i have attached a few policies to this group like whatever permissions are needed for developers and uh, you can uh, copy permissions from existing user as well and you can attach existing policies also directly so yeah i want to add this user to this group okay development group so i'll just next click on tags okay i don't need any tags here i'll just click on review and yeah so this if you see here this uh, user is automatically assigned this iam user change password this is basically 
to let the user change his password when he logs in for the first time yeah so that's it uh, click on create user so if you see now uh, this user is created you can basically send an email to that uh, user that you know your account is created and you can log in using uh, these credentials and so on so so basically uh, i'll show you like uh, how to log in using these credentials now to your aws management console so now uh, i'm in my aws sign in page so to sign in using the i am user that i just created i'll click on i am user and i'll paste my account here account number this is my account number and click on next so yeah yeah it will ask you i am username so that's a username i just gave here it is my developer and uh, you have to enter the password that you just gave and click on sign in so uh, if you see now it will take to my uh, change password uh, page here so if you are not enabled that uh, check that you know, it was there while creating the user to basically prompt the user to change his password this won't appear you would be able to log in directly so since i had enabled that it will ask me to change the password okay and you can basically change your password and click on confirm password change yeah so once you do that you should be good uh, to log in to your uh, to the aws account using your uh, username and password so so for the next time that you try to log in you need to use the newly created password that you just uh, created so yeah if you see now it is logged in uh, with this uh, username that is my developer at this account so this will have permissions basically whatever you granted uh, when you created the user so yeah that's it uh, that's how you create your uh, aws iam users and uh, give them permissions and this is useful when you want someone else to use your account or uh, like you yourself want to use your account with limited access yeah so this is uh, this is the process thank you guys